This is the fire department for Monticello, which is next to the town office, which is in front of the school, which is pretty handy to the store where you need milk and bread. This is the home at 423 U.S. Route 1, vinyl sided, bay windows, 1,400 square feet. And there's a church for the neighbor to the north, so it's a pretty good way to be part of a neat village. This is a home in the 80s that's had a lot of work done in the expensive areas. Years ago, antiques were sold here. You could have a home business very easy. It also has a wraparound porch and lots of detail in this 1885 home. The vinyl tilt-in windows are pretty handy, too. The slate sink in the kitchen still has the tin ceiling that originally it was built with. The floors are also padded and they're hardwood, maple kind. There are about five bay windows in this home that is heated with oil hot water. Plus there's also a pellet stove. There's a laundry hookup in the kitchen. The dining room and the den connect and there's a front formal parlor. Beautiful archways with rosettes in the corners. This is the Harmon pellet stove in the fireplace. More patterned floors. Not really carpeted. This would be the formal parlor unless you wanted a first floor bedroom. There's a bath on each level. There's a large hall room. Three bedrooms upstairs in an attic. All the bedrooms have southern exposures. And this one has a bay window with more of the tilt-in vinyl kind of windows that are easy to care for and are warm and don't require paint. A lot of the old wainscoting remains. And there's a pantry. They knew how to build them in 1885 because your home was your castle. Here's bedroom number two on the second floor. The bedrooms have closets that probably weren't originally there in the original house. And there's extra closet space in the hall. The third bedroom connects to a back shed chamber and there's a bathroom in the back end of the home. The bathroom upstairs has a tub, the one downstairs, a shower. Over the barns in the garage area you could have more bedrooms because this home could be a bed and breakfast, an inn, almost like a mini hotel. Where that stairway dumps out in the kitchen area, there's a pathway, a little alleyway to the garage. One garage is attached, more like a barn, the other one is detached. This one's painted Mary Kay pink, or Pepto-Bismol pink. Hi, main realtor Andy Morris. This is a heck of a Victorian home in the 80s. Ask me lots of questions about the area, about the property. Thanks for listening and watching the main real estate channel.